today we are checking out two immersive experiences that combine art, virtual, and augmented reality in a way that you definitely have not seen before. First up is Arcadia Earth. The idea of Arcadia was for people to experience beauty, art, but also solutions about our planet. So the journey starts in this room and then you go through 15 different rooms, two floor, 14,000 square feet. And it's important to download the app before yes. going through yes. because now not only am I seeing this beautiful art all around me, but on my phone, yes. there's sharks, there are there's turtles. turtles. Oh this is yes, so cool. Space. This room is designed to teach people about the coral reef and how one drop of sunscreen, it's enough to contaminate a coral reef the size of seven Olympic swimming pools. So this is a beautiful environment where we want people to Instagram, but at the same time to read and be educated because we can make little changes with a massive impact. The ocean has uh, this uh, current that creates the plastic island. And the biggest one is the Great Pacific Gyre. It's full of plastic and is now 11 times the size of New York State, more or less, yes. right? So this is a chandelier made by collecting all the plastic from our local beaches and then uh, putting it into a jellyfish, as jellyfish will be one of the only animals that will survive. So who is this whole exhibit perfect for? I think it's perfect for anyone who cares about the environment and wants to come to learn how they can make a real difference with small changes in their life. Next up is Zero Space in Midtown. During the day, we are a family-friendly museum that showcases the world's best and largest new media artists from all over the world. And at night, we are an 18-plus adult experience where you can really get lost in immersive theater and the immersive power of art. So for someone who has never experienced something like this, what can they expect? Oh boy, I can't give all of our secrets away, but they can expect to be sort of blown away by what technology can do for you, not your phone technology, but what the power of this new kind of art can do for your senses, how relaxing it can be, how meditative it can be, and how sort of consciousness opening it can be. What is it like for you to have this vision kind of come to light? Uh, totally surreal. Yeah, as surreal as what you're seeing around you right now. Just the idea of bringing a dome back to New York City to something like this. So this is kind of where the journey begins. Yeah, it's uh, once you get out of the dome, it's kind of a choose your own adventure. Oh, wow. I call this the laser forest. It's actually 10,000 pieces of foliage above us with four lasers in each corner cascading across each one. Jordan, I'm definitely coming back. So if people want to join me and go to either the museum or experience the show, where can they get tickets? They can go to zerospace.co. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you.